A human body is an amazing biological system having extraordinary ability of adaptation to its surrounding environment, although, under certain circumstances, external harmful stimuli may outweigh this ability and consequently cause serious issues to the organism. Basic component of living organisms is water, which molecules form vast majority of all substances within the human body. Water molecule itself is formed by one oxygen atom getting together with two hydrogen atoms. Each atom contains a nucleus and an electron shell in which electrically negatively charged electrons occur. Oxygen has two electrons on its inner orbital and six others on outer valence shell from where they can be easily shared with other atoms. To be fully satisfied, oxygen atom requires two more electrons, which can be provided most often by two hydrogen atoms in the real world environment. Atomic oxygen occupies more than two times more space than hydrogen. Therefore, shared hydrogen electrons spend much longer time in the outer valence shell of oxygen than on their domestic orbital. Oxygen just becomes negatively charged relative to its original state and hydrogen vice versa, positively charged. This state affects overall interaction of this molecule with others. From the outside view, H2O has two electrically oppositely charged poles, so we can consider it being a dipole, much like a bar magnet. In the proximity of many such objects, they tend to turn towards the other ones by oppositely charged parts. This applies to every object containing two poles, including, indeed, a water molecule. A positively charged portion of the water molecule will tend to turn to a negatively charged portion of another molecule. The hydrogen bond is formed being strongest of all intramolecular forces acting between individual molecules. In an ideal environment, this process would specially organize a large number of nearby water molecules into a substance that is referred to as a pure water. Exposed to an external electromagnetic field strong enough for overcoming effects of hydrogen bonds, water molecules will tend to turn against the direction of the external field, positive portion towards a negative electrode and vice versa, negative portion to a positive one. Changing external field's polarity causes a corresponding change in the rotation of polar molecules. In alternating time-varying fields, individual molecules' position is constantly changing, but moreover, with increasing frequency, its rotation and motion is getting faster and faster. More movement means more mutual collisions more frequently, where each collision converts molecules' kinetic energy into the form of heat. The tissue heats up. To maintain optimal body temperature, human body uses reasonable thermoregulatory mechanisms of which blood flow is clearly the most important. It supplies tissues with oxygen and nutrients, but also effectively drains away excessive heat via blood flowing into more distant parts where it can be easily dissipated by body surface. 
If, however, the temperature rises uncontrollably, even with maximal utilization of body regulatory capabilities, excessive heat may cause severe tissue damage. Particularly vulnerable to overheating adverse effects are body parts with difficult heat dissipation, e.g. due to their limited blood flow, which is the case of our eyes. But endangered are also tissues requiring a low temperature such as reproductive organs. Human body cells use a myriad of diverse proteins to perform many biological processes important for ensuring that the whole organism is functioning properly. Performing these tasks is allowed by their functional spatial conformation, which determines how they interact with other substances. Excessive thermal movement of water molecules may, after a certain time period, cause breakdown of weak chemical bonds maintaining protein's functional shape. Spatially disorganized proteins are no longer able to perform their tasks properly. Actuated heat shock proteins, abbreviated as HSPs, help to those unfolded proteins restore their proper shape, in which they can perform expected biological tasks, consequently allowing cell survival in an emergency situation. In addition to excessive heat, they respond also to a variety of other harmful stimuli ranging from free radicals and heavy metal effects to presence of an artificial electromagnetic field. Genetic information of HSP-70 contains several sequences triggering proteins' response to different harmful stimuli the nuclear base sequence containing guanine adenine adenine synthase induces response to excessively high temperature, whereas cytosine chimine cytosine chimine synthase triggers a reaction to presence of an artificial electromagnetic field. Human body cells have self-destructive mechanism triggering cascade of biological processes leading to cells death if seriously damaged to such extent that they cannot be repaired and their further existence would pose a threat to whole organism. Excessive activation of HSPs in damaged cells may inhibit this self-destructive mechanism known as apoptosis, so in the end, diseased cell will survive and can replicate itself via cell division process. After a while, population of defective cells may ultimately replace a healthy ones. Cancer arises. Fortunately enough, the human body has considerable number of protective and self-repairing mechanisms allowing it to survive even in quite hostile environment. By supporting regenerative capabilities of our body and eliminating as much harmful stimuli as possible, we can greatly help ourselves to cope with challenging demands of surrounding environment and maintain an excellent health up to very advanced age.